What's up, y'all? Welcome to another review by Ryan. And in this episode, uh, in this review, we'll be reacting to episode five of the, set of the third season of Kaguya-sama Love is War, titled Ultra Romantic. Uh, in the last episode, a lot of focus around our boy Ishigami. And I gotta tell you, he's been the homie ever since, really since the start, but especially after he had his time to shine in the... Um, second season a lot of the community really ended up falling pretty hard for this man as a bro and obviously as for many of the females in the community as 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 the best boy so uh nishigami is he's he's he really is the og he's such a good person and is actually really kind-hearted when it all comes down to it um so there was a lot of focus around um the fact that he likes subami i believe is her name i always tend to mess up the last part of her name but yeah subami which is the girl that was on the cheerleading squad with him and he has had a crush on her ever since and he deep down does want to either kind of in some way shape or form be able to show that he is worthy of her being interested in him um and i'm rooting for my man i really am even though i don't know how it's going to go we're going to see how it's going to play out um so we had that and then of course we had the funny moments uh, with chica sleeping over and the entirety of uh, her of, of um Kaguya basically being half sleep because she's not used to being awake at a certain hour and then the whole i Hayasaka moment where she was the male and Chika realized that she has a part of her uh, the if you the um uh there's a part of her that she did not know existed when she had her bloody nose and everything when she thought that um um our man was actually hooked up with Sid Butler. So it was a really funny episode. A lot of craziness was going on there and it, it definitely continues to match the crazy environment that comes from this show. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and start with episode five. Episode five with the continuing of efforts of long titles. It is Chika Fujiwara wants to beat a rhythm. Ai Hayasaka wants to talk and Maki Shijo wants some help. So let's go ahead and kick off this fifth episode of this tremendously funny third season. And we're going to go ahead and start in three, two, one. Oh no, Shiragane is going to rap. Oh no. <laughs> oh! Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh boy. Oh. 
Let me tell y'all something right now. If there was ever a spinoff and it ended up being Shiragane and I that were supposed to end up together, I would be in full support. <laughs> Oh, look at Chica. <laughs> but this is but this is your mama, so she gonna have she gonna she gonna get you straight. Mama Chica gonna get him straight. Oh no. Oh no. Volume warning. Uh oh. Put her straight in the ground. <laughs> oh no. Yes. Goodness. <laughs> yeah, but a lot of things do get lost in text, though. He must have, he must have dad puns. <laughs> oh, look at your mama trying to come to, look, she, she gonna come through. Him being the trainer, this is crazy. But unlike you, she's gonna get it together, so. Better than what you were doing. Are you sure you want that? Are you sure that's a good idea? Told you. Told you. Told you. Did you really want that? teach you. <laughs> this is ridiculous.
get together it's always comical uh -oh. So she did tell him. He might actually throw down. This was thanks to Mama Chica again. <laughs> <laughs>
There's no one process what's actually happening here though. This could get dangerous. Oh shit, this could get dangerous. God, yeah, this could get dangerous for you. <laughs> Yo, that was cool. <laughs> what an episode. Wow. What an episode. What a segment. I forgot there was more to the episode after that. Honestly, there's really a lot to unpack with what we just watched, but I'm going to move on for now.
Yeah, I will admit that their PDA is pretty excessive. Well, she might school day somebody. Just, we just asked a question. Jeez, that is true. Even though I knew his name from exposition, I did not know we had never said the name. That's not what we're talking about here. <laughs> that don't mean anything. Yeah. And uh, this damn nasty generation in middle school. Y'all, we had a T on. The T on the ready. <laughs> yeah, both are equally hard, though. Yeah, no. That's not gonna happen. Even, even less of a chance. <laughs> I mean, you just have to make a decision. And by that time, it'll be game over and you'll lose to another person. Look at these, look at these legends right here. Look at these great ones right here. Ha! Friends, Tomodachi. Yo, I should have got you better watch your damn back. Yo! What is this?
my non fit Yo. Is that it? Guys, this might have been the best episode I've watched of the Kage Sama series. Wow. Um, a lot, a lot, a lot to unpack in this episode. Uh, and I, this, this might, this, and I'm not gonna say Mike, this was the best episode of this show for me thus far. Um, what a phenomenal episode. Who would have thought that just a simple episode over rapping would have turned into literally just pure epicness. Just pure epicness. Um, as a matter of fact, it was so it was so perfect that I would have preferred that the Maki part actually have just been kept to the next episode and just completely reserve this episode just for the entire rapping segment and Ai Hayasaka coming out with how she really feels and I really feel there's deeper stuff there than meets the eye that will be probably unveiled later in, into the show and the series. Um, and then that ending, this whole episode! First off, you already know and we already know, we, are, we all know that when an opening is skipped, craziness is gonna ensue. Um, epicness is going to ensue. Uh, but let's just start from beginning to end. So Chica going into Mama Chica mode, learning to rap to then teach someone to rap. Just something that only Chica would do. Um, but Mama Chica comes to the rescue again. But I, again, I... I felt everything she said in her rap and her little speech that she did. Um, and she meant that ish. She meant it. She absolutely meant that. You know... Wanting to, you know, to have a regular friendship, wanting to have a regular life to an extent, having to watch um, Kaguya just continue to do this stupid stuff. Um, you know, again, a lot of people have expressed concern, especially with how this season's gone, that it is very possible that I may actually develop some type of romantic feeling for Shiragane. I do believe that may happen. Here's the difference, though. I never, I still to date don't believe that even if such a thing was to happen, that she would actually try to make a real move against him, since obviously we know that Kaguya and Shiragane are gonna come together. However, for Kaguya, she needs to be careful. She needs to be careful. Cause as they said, rap truly imitates how a person is feeling and because the genre of rap really is how you have your inner emotions, how you really feel on a specific subject or life circumstance, she better be careful. That's all I got to say. But phenomenal. Just phenomenal. That entire segment was just absolutely phenomenal. That ending was phenomenal. And then having a little laugh at the end with Maki and her situation was also phenomenal. This probably would have been better to keep that for the uh, for the sixth episode. That's not going to take away from the fact that this was a 10 out of 10 episode and definitely my favorite, just about my favorite episode of this entire show so far. Uh, just freaking phenomenal. Freaking phenomenal, freaking phenomenal, freaking phenomenal. There's nothing bad I can say about this episode. This was a great episode. The end, I, I, this was great. And when animes tend to bring in rap, uh, for the most part, it's a hit. Some are just a little better than others, and this was definitely the one that was really, really, really better than others. Phenomenal, keeping up in line with how great this show actually is. I stand to reason that if Spy X Family was not running this season, this would definitely be, hands down, the best show of the season. And even then, in its own way, it is the, one of the best of this season. So, phenomenal, phenomenal show. Phenomenal performances by all the characters uh, involved. Phenomenal performance by I. Perf phenomenal performance by Mama Chica. Phenomenal performance by Kaguya. Phenomenal performance by, by um, Shiragane. Ph phenomenal performance by our boy, the homie, the legend, Ishigami. And, of course, we had Maki there, too, to keep things rolling along at the end with this phenomenal rap at the end. Great episode. 10 out of 10, 20 out of 10, 30 out of 10, whatever you want to say. Great episode. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction as much as I enjoyed making this reaction to Kaguya-sama Love is War. If you did like this reaction and want to see more, please like and subscribe.
subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified when new reactions go available. With that said, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week for the next episode of Kaguya-sama Love is War Ultra Romantic. Until then, catch y'all later.